This is a really nice example of a striped skunk track. And that one is too, not as deep. This one here shows five toes with the inner toe being further back in the track, making this the right foot. That's toe one, two, three, four, and five. And these long claws are on the front feet of skunks because they do a lot of digging to dig up prey. And so this is a striped skunk. It's got a pad that is not split into lobes like the spotted skunk. The hind track of the striped skunk has a very solid looking pad and also five toes, but much shorter claws if they show up at all. Um, that is the right hind because you have the inner toe dropped further back in the track. Their toes are partially fused, so these three toes in the center don't splay because they're fused at their bases. So um, you won't find them splayed out. And sometimes skunk tracks are only seen as the claw marks. You can see a hint there of the toes, but not very much. Okay, those are difficult to see, but let's use our little light trick and place the light on the ground so that I can control the angle and look at that track pop. It just pops right out. You can see all the details. That is a left front foot of a striped skunk. Drop toe one right there and all the five toes and the claws and that pad. There's the hind track. Look at that beauty. You can see all the details when you use the light to uh, bring them out. Now I'm setting the light right on the ground using it at a very low angle and I can adjust as needed. If I'm too high up it just washes it out. So bring it down so you make shadows in the track. That's the idea. Make those shadows and it'll just pop. This track you can see very well without the light, but if you put the light on it, it's just going to shade it too much. But those subtle tracks that are hard to see, use a flashlight or use your mirror in the sunny days and bring those details out. Now up here, there is a track there. I promise you there is. See? Told you. So that's the kind of thing you can do and uh, bring out the details of the track. Let's go up here and look at this uh, gray fox track, just for grins. Just for grins. There's two tracks here. Gray fox and striped skunk. Without the light, it's hard to see them. There's a pair of gray fox right there and there is a pair of striped skunk. Front, right front, and looks like left hind of the striped skunk and a pair of gray fox tracks. So using that light really will help you to see tracks um, that otherwise are just super tough to see.